Hey guys, how are you doing? So I'm back with another exciting tutorial of Multisim. In this video, uh, I'm gonna start with the core of electronics, that is a diode. And uh, we will just see what is it and how does it work. Just giving you uh, some background of it, like diode is a one-way conductor and it conducts only in forward bias. However, we can bias it um, in reverse as well. But we will discuss the reverse bias characteristics in the next video, I think. So let's just see how it works when we connect it into a forward bias. So for that, we need a signal voltage. We have to go to the signal voltage source and just click on the DC interactive voltage, which is the variable voltage source. Go to the basics, to the resistors. And I'm choosing one resistor one kilo ohm resistor as my initial resistance. For the diode, I'm using this model, 1N4007G. And in the last, we need a ground. Just go to the old groups and type ground. All right. Also, I'm gonna need a voltmeter and an ammeter as well. Yeah, this looks perfect. So, connect the positive terminal of the battery with the anode of the diode and negative terminal of the battery with the cathode of diode. Now we have to join the voltmeter across the diode to measure the voltage and to see the characteristics of it in forward bias. Also, we have to add the ammeter in series with the diode so that we can examine the current passing through the diode. Connect the ground as well. So here is our circuit. Let's say we have set its value, maximum value to 15 volt. So we can, um, for the best results, we can change the voltage from zero to 15 volts with a gap of 0.5 uh, to see the results. So it is the voltage. This is the current. Okay, so you, when you, you know, find the values, you will see the graph that it will be almost a linear curve. In the start, when the threshold voltage has not been achieved, diode acts as an insulator. And you can see the micro ampere current flows through the diode. But when, uh, when the diode achieves the threshold voltage, there is a rapid increase in the current it has changed from microampere to milliampere. That means the threshold voltage has been achieved and it is offering minimum resistance. So this threshold voltage is like 0.7 for silicon and 0.3 for germanium in ideal case. So yeah, that's it. And for the further concepts, you can see the PDF file that I have attached in the description box. And uh, you will see the readings and the graph in that file that support this concept. So kindly check that out and let me know if you wanna see something else for the next time. And um, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy and enjoy the quarantine life. Goodbye.